Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this video, we're going to practice our factoring skills. So the objective here is to factor this uh, expression. So we have x squared minus 4y squared is equal to what? So this is factorable, but uh, how do we factor it? Well, of course, that is the question I'm going to answer in this video. And as I'm stating here, you absolutely need to understand how to factor situations like this to pass algebra because factoring uh, may very well be the most important uh, skill uh, to, um, that you need to pass um, algebra. And it's generally a skill that a lot of students struggle with. Uh, this problem hopefully is not too difficult, but of course, if you don't understand how to do it, I'll fully explain this. Uh, but if you do know how to do it, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer here in just one second. Then I'm going to walk through the solution here uh, step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, uh, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so again, we have x squared minus 4y squared. We're looking to factor this situation, and let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the answer right now. Okay, so here is the correct answer. Okay, so uh, you have x minus 2y, and this would be in parentheses, times x plus 2y. If you wrote x plus 2y times x minus 2y, that is perfectly fine as well. But uh, this is the answer. Now, if you didn't get this uh, correct, if you're like totally confused, don't worry about it. I'm going to, um, you know, explain this is not that difficult. But again, it's uh, critical that you understand how to factor all situations in algebra. But if you got this right, and a lot of you are like, oh, this was an easy problem. Well, let's go ahead and still give you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100 percent and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are an expert in factoring using the formula for the what we call the difference of two squares, right? Difference of two squares, um, and basically uh, we're talking about a squared minus b squared. And I'll show you the rest of the formula uh, here in a, sit, uh, in a second, but that is the situation that we're dealing with. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. So let's suppose you stumble upon um, this problem and, you know, in this, let's say you see something like this on a test, quiz, whatever, uh, and you're asked to factor um, this particular situation. Well, a couple of things to keep in mind when you're factoring algebra uh, is the following, okay? Uh, sometimes you cannot factor uh, this, the problem at hand, okay, the expression at hand. So it's just like this number, 10, if I go, uh, hey, factor 10, and you're like, oh, I can come up with two factors, 2 and 5, because 2 times 5 is 10. That's great. If I say factor 7, you might be saying, well, the only factors I know is 1 and 7. And by definition, if the only factor you have is 1, that's what we call a prime number, right? 1 and the number itself. So this is a prime number. This is not a prime number. And you can um, definitely come across uh, situations where you cannot factor. In other words, uh, the problem is prime. So just so you know that, not every single thing that you are going to deal with is uh, factorable. And sometimes your teachers like to throw in situations where like, yeah, you're trying to factor it, but you just can't factor it. Well, then the answer to that question is prime. Okay, so uh, just kind of a little heads up there. But let's go ahead and quickly review some of the strategies that you need to be thinking about when you're asked to factor something. So in this particular problem, you need to put your... Uh, factoring thinking cap on and let's just kind of quick review the skills that you need to uh, know in order to be an expert at factoring so the first thing you need to understand is how to uh, factor out the greatest common factor so this would be like the first thing you want to master so for example real quick if you have 2x plus 10 well how could you factor this uh, situation we could factor out 2 that's the greatest common factor so this is going to be 2 times x plus 5 right so 2 is the greatest common factor and uh, it's effectively like the rever reverse, excuse me, of the distributive property. So you want to learn factoring in this order and um, make sure you have this down be before you move on to the next skill. And that is how to deal with trinomials. Okay, and specifically uh, things like quadratic trinomials like 2x squared minus 5x pl uh, plus 1. So you're dealing with quadratic trinomials. And this is a whole big topic in and of itself. So you got to master this. 
Now, if you're like, wow, you're just overwhelmed and you, you know, you really need uh, a lot of help with this, I'm going to leave links to my um, uh, Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 course. Uh, those are the best courses to go to, so you can go directly there. I, I completely, uh, completely teach you everything you need to know, full instruction and ton of explained examples. But anyways, you got to master trinomials next after the greatest common factor, and then you move on to special factoring rules. So I just put special here. And this is the uh, situation that we're dealing with. Okay, so there's special factoring rules for special situations that are not trinomials, and we just can't uh, pull out the greatest common factor. So we'll talk about one of those uh, really important and commonly used special factoring rules in just one second. And then as you progress in your factoring, um, uh, you know, education and skills, you also uh, learn um, something about group factoring. That's a little bit more of an advanced technique. But uh, anyways, again, a lot to uh, know about factoring, and factoring is, again, probably the number one most critical skill that you need to uh, master to get through algebra. If you cannot factor, you're going to have a very difficult time to just pass algebra, okay? So make sure you get your factoring down. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this problem. All right, so as I indicated, um, what we want to look for is patterns. So if I look at our problem, here is our problem right here. And I'm like, okay, this is not a trinomial, and I can't factor out a greatest common factor. So what is this thing? Well, you want to be thinking in terms of patterns. And we can see here that we have two things squared. So x squared, that's something squared. So we're, it's following this pattern here. I'll explain this formula in a second. So we have something squared minus, okay, something else squared, okay, 4y squared. So if you can recognize a situation where we have the difference of two squares, right? Difference, i.e. subtract, we're subtracting two squares. Well, that's a situation you're going to want to use this formula. Okay, so the difference of two squares, a squared minus b squared is going to be equal to a plus b times a minus b. Now, the key here is to figure out what a and b are, right? Because we're gonna need a and b in these formulas, uh, formula right here. Uh, so we're going to have to figure out what is A and what is B, and let's go ahead and actually do this right now. Okay, so looking at this right here, if this is the difference of two squares, this whole thing right here would represent our A squared, okay? And this whole thing right here, this 4Y squared, would represent our B squared. So I need A and B, not A squared and B squared. So how can I get A? Well, A is going to be equal to X, but how did I get that? Well, if A squared is equal to x squared, okay, like as I'm indicating right here. We want to know what a is, so just simply take the square root of uh, both sides, so a is going to be equal to x, okay? So a is our uh, x, and of course we're going to be plugging that into this formula here in a second. Now here, if you can't, if it's not obvious to you, right, uh, you're like, well, what is b? Well, b squared is equal to this 4y squared, okay, the entire thing. So to get to B, we have to take the square root of both sides, okay? So this is going to be a 2Y, all right? Now, again, if you don't understand square roots, that is another uh, skill that you need to, uh, you know, uh, work on in order to do this. But anyways, if you understand what I'm doing, okay, we're trying to identify what A and B are. So we first have to understand, uh, identify what A squared and B squared are, and then we can get to our A and B. Okay, so A is X and B is Y. Now we just simply need to follow the formula. So A squared minus B squared is going to be A plus B. Okay, so what is A? Well, A is X. So that's going to be X plus uh, B. B is 2Y. Okay, and then we, here we have A minus B. So that's going to be our A is X minus our B is 2Y. And we just simply plug in the values like so and we are done. Again, if you wrote um, uh, x minus y times x plus 2y, that's an equivalent answer as well. Okay, so hopefully this wasn't too difficult of a problem. In terms of a factoring problem uh, level of difficulty, uh, this problem might be something like a 3 out of 10. Not that difficult. There's certainly much more challenging uh, problems uh, than this. But here is... Um, kind of my final thought about factoring. One, it's critical, okay, I'll say it again, that you know how to factor. So if you're struggling in algebra and if you're, you know, not really getting factoring, you should stop what you're doing. Just stop and be like, okay, I'm going to put myself through a little factoring boot camp. 
And you can really, you know, improve your factoring skills over a day or two if you just immerse yourself. And that's sometimes what you need to do. You need to just get laser beam focused on one skill that's holding you back and do a ton of prompts. But if you are trying to do prompts, you don't have access to a full explanation, uh, you know, to see how the problem is done, then you're going to, you know, struggle. You know, you're going to be like, well, I don't know how, the, you know, this person or the workbook, you know, got the right answer. So that's what I do in my math help program. I fully explain a ton of problems and a variety of problems from basic to advanced. So again, if you need help with this, uh, just check out um, my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 course. I do teach this in other courses, but those uh, courses will be in the link. But uh, if this little video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.